I think I come to this field, first of all, because I was curious. My work started with the idea of using light as a means to um, write features onto a polymer or a plastic material. So to print with light, we are sending images uh, through a data projector onto a special polymer. And those polymers will harden and solidify upon receiving photons from the slide pattern. When I went to Nanjing University to study physics, uh, I learned optics under Professor Ming Yi. The notion by then was though that no matter how good our optics lens is, the best feature size that we can print is determined by the wavelengths we used. And this is uh, so-called the diffraction limit. Professor uh, Ming Yi was telling us this is a practice that every optical engineer has followed for centuries. I still remember uh, that day that we were able to see this exciting result. We were the first group that proved that we can print sub-wavelength features a uh, hundred times smaller than human hair. The implication of this work is uh, rather simple because optics is uh, the tools that we use for storage. Finer features implies that we can write 100 times more information onto a DVD. Or we could uh, start to uh, probe the traffic of uh, a protein or a DNA. Long-term dream we have is, is to create a circuit for optical uh, signal processing. For example, Intel's CPUs, their operating limit is at 10 to the 12 hertz. This uh, could be broken if we have optical cables taking the job from electrons. The most exciting part of this field is that we can really incorporate uh, imagination and creativity based on our knowledge of light, our knowledge of uh, waves, and our capabilities to now teach them to do the job that we want. Yes, I did call my professor. I, I was uh, very excited to uh, you know, send her a paper and tell her that yeah, I was uh, able to prove you wrong. <laughs> we, we do break the diffraction limit for the first time. She was very happy and very excited about it.